Navy Station, the permanent multi-purpose module now delivered. Express Logistics Carrier number four also installed. Discovery now has done its job for the International Space Station finishing up. Day to come, for all the midnight lights burnt into the morning sun. I can't wait to see your sweet mysteries. The moon, the stars, the sun, the universe, the galaxies. Right about the time the Discovery passes directly underneath the station. Five or ten years from now, they're going to look back and go, how did we ever build a vehicle that could do all these things? Uh, this was a, a pretty bold and audacious thing to put together back in the 1970s, and I, I just don't know that we have that audacity now to build something nearly as ambitious as the shuttle is. It's altitude 216 miles. And I think uh, everybody knows that our shuttle fleet was named after great ships of exploration. We wanted to carry on that heritage, the legacy of that name, and I think this discovery has done that with flying colors. And uh, she retires with all of the honors and dignity due any of those ships that made great discoveries. So uh, I think we salute discovery in that, uh, in that way uh, with all the accolades that she deserves. Also installed. Discovery now has done its job for the International Space Station finishing up this uh, victory lap around the orbiting complex. What I hope is that wherever it's displayed, it's displayed in such a way that, that the public can see the shuttle through the, the various lenses of all of the thousands of people ac across the country that worked on the space shuttle program and get a true picture of what it was like to work on this vehicle, to operate this vehicle from the ground, and to operate this vehicle from the, uh, from the cockpit as we have. So installed. Discovery now has done its job for the International Space Station finishing up this uh, victory lap around the orbiting.